Well, I guess it would be nice if I could touch your body. I know not everybody has got a body like Okay, so let's talk about the different seed bead designs throughout the wrap bracelet and all the different options. So essentially you're creating four different bracelets with your one long cord. And so whenever I make mine, I kind of visually in my mind block off four different sections as I'm beading. And by doing that, I'm measuring about six and a half inches because that is my wrist size. So I think to myself, okay, so for the first six and a half inches of my bracelet, um, I'm going to do X, Y, Z. I chose to do a design like this. And then after that, measure up about six and a half inches and that would be my second bracelet. And then I would measure up six and a half more inches and that would be my third wrap. And then measure six and a half more ish and that would be my fourth wrap. I cannot stress this enough that you cannot mess this up um, since we're only working with two colors of beads for this specific bracelet, you can't, you can't mess it up. Versus if you were to want to do more colors with more of a pattern, if you were to accidentally put a gold bead in the middle or, or a black bead right there, obviously it would stand out because it would not be following the pattern. And I'll teach you how to make this one in another tutorial. But for this specific one, you're only working with two different bead colors, white and silver or white and gold. So you really cannot mess up a pattern. So just use your creativity and so kind of map it out before you begin. Otherwise you are free to just do any random thing You're a rich girl, and you're going too far, cause you know it don't matter to me. You can rely on the old man's money, you can rely on the old man, honey. It's a rich girl, and you're going too far, cause you know it don't matter to me. Say money, but it won't get you too far, too far. Now that I'm fully done beading my bracelet and tying off my two ends, I'm going to lay my whole bracelet out 
like this, taping down the top side and the bottom side. And I'm going to take my two ends and they're gonna go opposite directions laying next to each other. So they're gonna lay parallel to each other going opposite direction, directions. And you're gonna pick up one of the pieces and you're going to just lay it over the top, making an X and then push those together. And I'm going to get two more pieces of tape and I'm gonna put them down right there and right there. Okay, now that I've taped down my two ends, I'm going to take that piece of cord that I had you put aside earlier. And this is just kind of a random tip, take it or leave it. But I just took my iron on a low setting and I just ran my iron over my string to try to get the kinks out because I found that when this string has less kinks, when I'm working with the knot, it is much easier. So I'm going to take one end and I'm going to run it underneath those pieces. And I'm going to tie a simple overhead knot, making it so that each tail is about the same length, okay? And that knot can just sit right there in the middle or even a little bit to the top of those two pieces. Okay, we're going to do our first square knot. So I'm gonna pick up my piece on the right and I'm going to go under the bridge, over the bridge. Then I'm gonna lay it down and I'm gonna pick up my other piece on the left side and I'm going to go over the bridge, under the bridge. And then I'm gonna pull those tight. And that's gonna create our first square knot. Now I'm gonna pick up my piece on the left and I'm going to string it under the bridge and then over the bridge. Lay it down. And I'm going to pick up my piece on the right and I'm going to go over the bridge, under the bridge, and I'll grab my two ends and pull them tight for our second square knot. Now repeat the first one. We're gonna go with our right piece under the bridge, over the bridge, lay it down, and then pick up our left piece and we're going over the bridge, under the bridge, pull them tight. Now pick up our left piece and we go under the bridge, over the bridge, set it down, pick up our piece on the right, and we're going over, under. So over the bridge, under the bridge. Pull it tight, and I'll pick up my piece on the right, and I'm going under, over. Picking up my piece on the left, and I'm going over, under. Pull it tight, pick up my piece on the left, and I go under the bridge, over the bridge, and I set that piece down. And then I pick up my piece on the right, the right, and I go over the bridge, under the bridge, pull it tight, 
So now I am going to take my pieces of tape off. So we're at the point now where we need to cut our two tails of our knots and close it off. I have used both the super glue method and also the lighter method to singe off the ends. You wanna be really careful with both ways. I like both. I don't have a favorite either way. You just wanna be really careful because this cord is just so skinny that you either need a tiny, tiny bit of super glue or a very small bit of fire from your lighter so that you don't singe the whole thing. Just be very careful. So I'll start with showing you the lighter method. So I'm going to take my two pieces and give them one last little shimmy. And I'm going to hold my piece on the left pretty firm and I'm going to cut the piece on the right pretty close to that, that last knot. And then I will take my lighter and very carefully singe the end and press it in. Kind of just pinch it in with the rest. And it kind of just forms all together. You can either do that or you can take super glue and I will cut the tail off of the left. Okay, you can see that I've cut that almost just right up to the edge, but not to where it'll slip through. And then I'm just gonna take a little dab. I just put a little bit of super glue on this popsicle stick and I'm just going to dip the end in. So you can take the end and trim it just a little bit. Take your lighter and just singe the end. Or you can take the end, trim it down, and just use a tiny dab of super glue. It's just whatever you prefer. If you do use the super glue, just be really careful that you have only used a tiny little dab on the very end so that you haven't glued your pieces to stick together so that they can't adjust. Okay, now that we are all done, we can adjust our knot open. We can wrap our bracelet around four times and then shimmy it tight, pull our square knot tight, add on our stacking bracelet, and we have ourselves the cutest little dainty bracelet stack that I will just keep adding more and more bracelets too. Hope you guys love it.